Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to be doing, oh dear, oh dear, I'm not wearing the cap, right? This is just to catch some of you out, uh, because I'm actually doing an unpackaging, but I forgot to put the cap on. So you're going to say, well, Gillian, the video's only just started. Why don't you pause it and go and get a cap? Because I can't be asked, all right? So if you just got to take my word for it, even though I'm not wearing a cap, I am doing an unpackaging. Now you may have seen uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think I did a unpackaging video about some products that were sent to me from a company in China, which is called WeDayDeals.com. And I'll put the address uh, on the screen for you. And I did an unboxing, showed you the products. And I thought they were pretty good products. And the company said, oh, we're quite pleased with what you did. Uh, would you like to do another video? So I said, yes, of course. So they sent me some more products. I did another video and you can see, uh, and there isn't a link to the videos either up there or down there, but there are two previous videos uh, with uh, unpackaging of products from WeDayDeals.com. And then they contacted me again, very nice guy called Ryan. And I'm not sure if he's Chinese, but he's from uh, WeDayDeals.com. And he said, we'd like you to do another video. And I said, God, this is an embarrassment of riches, Ryan. But if you want to send me the products, I'm happy to do the video. So here we are, these products. And I didn't choose these. They, they chose them. Ryan chose them and said, we'll send them to you. And we'll send you the tracking link so you know when they're going to arrive. And they arrived very swiftly. Didn't have to pay anything extra for them. And so I'm just going to open the package and show you what they are. Now, he's told me what they are. Made a mistake on the previous video where I forgot to check on the prices and I had to add that later. But now I know uh, the products, I know the prices, I've got them written down on this piece of paper, although I've not unpackaged them yet, so I have to believe what Ryan told me. Um, sorry if I'm going a little bit quickly here. By the way, by the way, uh, for this video, I am using the Sony or Sony ZV1 camera. Now, this camera uh, is uh, quite a recent purchase. And I bought it because it's very good for making YouTube videos. I haven't done an unboxing of it because, frankly, there are hundreds of unboxing and my my thoughts on the Sony ZV-1 camera. And although I've watched all of them, frankly, they get a little bit boring after a while. But one thing this camera has got, which you may be aware of if you've seen the reviews or anything about it, is it's got a very clever autofocus system but one of the things that makes it very clever is when you're doing like an unpackaging and you hold something up to the screen uh, with most cameras the autofocus is all over the place but with this camera it focuses on the product it doesn't continue to focus on your eyes as the camera should be doing at the moment so just bear that in mind when you see this unpackaging so let's get into it the size let's get into it i don't know what's going to be first so i'm gonna pull it out and right ready for this ready for what the sony zv1 can do with this product boom see now that should be in focus was it in focus i'm not sure because i can't quite see the screen so let's open this up single use packaging you know my thoughts about single use packaging and it is a it's a brush yes now it it's a toothbrush uh, for somebody like uh, Mick Jagger, Kim Kardashian, who's got a very large mouth. So he's going like that. Or somebody who's got very large teeth or more than the normal complement of teeth. Somebody like Robin Gibb. Do you remember Robin Gibb of the Bee Gees? I think he's still alive. Uh, whether he's still got all the teeth or not, I'm not sure. But he could use this brush to clean those teeth, you see, like that. Or, yes, folks, he could use it to clean his bicycle chain or his front derailleur, or his rear derailleur, or other components of his bicycle. So it is a plastic. Yes, it's plastic. Why not? It's called, um, uh, that looks like Cilion or Cilion to me. I find it a bit hard to read the, uh, the grey on grey. And this bit here, uh, I'm just having a look. I, hmm, I'm not quite sure. How you do that you you can put something through there so i suppose you could put your chain through there but you'd have to take the chain off the bike um one thing about these products by the way although i think they're, they're pretty good they don't come with instructions so sometimes you have to work it out for yourself if you had a chain that you had removed from your bike you could push it through there and these hard bristles would give it a pretty good clean as you dragged it 
it, it's true. Um, I suppose you could also do the same if you, if you had young children, maiden aunts, grandparents, and that needed to clean. You could kind of force them through. No, don't do that, kids. Don't do that, maiden aunts, grandparents. You shouldn't do that. So that is a brush. And this brush, by the way, is £2.73. p. Uh, that's at the current exchange rate. I think the prices are, the, the reason the prices are these kind of odd numbers is to do with the exchange rate. But £2.73 in our English pounds or British pounds. Are British pounds the same as English pounds? I'm sure they are. Moving on swiftly. And we have bicycle tail light. See, the old Sony ZV-1 should be doing its stuff again. And it's a mini bike light, mini bike light. Uh, and let me see, uh, one seems to be white and one seems to be red, so that would suggest a front light and a rear light. And let's just open up the package for you swiftly. Uh, USB chargeable, USB cable. I now have uh, 487 uh, USB cables because you get them for all kinds of things so if anybody needs a usb cable drop me a line in the comments and i won't send it to you um there is a this is the the silicon the kind of silicon stretchy rubber that you use to attach the lights to your uh, handlebars or your seat post and then let's take the lights out of the single use plastic and there is the red one which presumably is the rear and there is the white one, which presumably is the front. Is it the same all over the world? I assume it is. And in China, they also use the red light at the rear and the white light at the front, but it could be the other way around. But it doesn't really matter because you've got the light. So, um, yeah, I don't, oh, look, look, it is, it works. Oh. And, yep, that, that, you know, look, it, flashes and let's hold the button down and we turn it off so you attach it with the silicon strap here to your rear uh, seat post or whatever you want to attach it to and there you are um, a, a basic fairly basic plastic uh, rear light USB chargeable what's what's not to like and this pair of lights are four pounds 19 p so a front light, uh, sorry, a rear light, a front light, two silicon straps, a USB charging cable, four pounds and 19 P. Now, what of course I haven't, uh, and there's the, the charging uh, thing at the back there. What I haven't done, and somebody criticized me on my uh, unpackaging video, a little bit unfairly, I thought, Nigel, um, that I hadn't, adequately tested the runtime of these lights and and i did another unboxing of another company's lights um that is not really the kind of videos that i do guys you know do you really think i'm going to switch on a light and just sit there and watch it to see if it actually lasts for 36 hours or 27 hours or 42 hours or whatever the proposed runtime is that ain't what i do right if you want to look at other videos on youtube do so if you want to watch what Julian does, well, watch what Julian does. And did I tell you the price? I think I did £4.19p. Let's move swiftly on and see what we've got here. More single-use plastic. And it is, this says, B, B Soul. You seen that? The soul of a bicycle. Who comes up with these phrases? The soul of bicycle. And this is some kind of bag, yes. And it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like a little frame bag for your bike. So you'll be familiar with a, a top tube bag or a, a front handlebar bag or a rear saddle bag. And this is a, a small bag that would fit on your frame. So these velcro straps here would hold it there and there and this strap would hold it on your down tube and you have a zip here b sole there you are the sole of the bicycle you have a zip there and inside you have a 
plastic compartment. Um, fairly basic uh, plastic construction, um, fairly standard zip. Um, you could fit a few, uh, a few gels, a little bit of food. Um, you could certainly fit your phone in there. Um, so there's not a uh, vast amount of room, but reasonable amount of room. And this particular saddle uh, frame bag is two pounds fifty-five. So I can show you. I can put the lights, various bits of lights in there, like that. Do up the zip, and probably forget that I've put them in there and never find them again. But there is a small, fairly useful, decent, um, not massively well made but as well made as as something else and as well made as as you i have a right to expect i think for two uh two pounds 55 so what's not to like let's move on swiftly and this looks like another uh yes another b soul soul of the bicycle soul of bicycle and this is a saddlebag a saddlebag to keep a, a tube tube if you're still still stuck on using tubes and you haven't enjoyed the joys of going tubeless but if you are uh, still using tubes well you can fit a tube in there um, you could fit a multi-tool in there you could fit a couple of tires levers in there um, probably fit a little co2 or normal co2 canister with the head on it um you have a little uh what's this not sure what this is um little velcro strap what would you use that for um not sure um well you could put something in there and retain it with the velcro strap can you see and secured onto your bike uh with two no three uh mounting points and a clip space at the back for you to mount a rear light and uh, not sure the rear light that we were looking at earlier would fit through there but some other rear light uh, probably would so a rear saddle bag and this is the same price as the frame bag which is two pounds 55 so it's made of that um i don't know what this, what you call this material is it polypropylene i'm not sure it doesn't, it doesn't actually say a uh, bit of padding on the top there. Now I have a lot of saddlebags for some reason. For some reason I seem to buy a lot of saddlebags. I'm not quite sure why. A little bit of a fetish of mine. No, not that sort of fetish, Nigel. Nigel, you're going to have to watch other videos for that. But saddlebags are quite like. And I never, I, I'm always struggling to find quite the right saddlebag uh, in terms of the space that it's got in it for the stuff that I want to put in the bag. And this seems like a, a decent size with quite a decent opening there. And that's always useful with a saddlebag. £2.55, what's not to like? And let's move on to the last item. And hmm, this is some, some of that, is that popping, popping stuff. Um, if you have... Uh, elderly grandparents, by the way, have run out of things to watch on Netflix. Then can I suggest that you get some some bubble map uh, because there is a good few hours. Uh, I mean, if you've watched Bridgerton, which goes on, which gone what ten episodes, ten hours, you could probably get ten hours of enjoyment out of uh, bubble wrap popping. You might need uh, more than one piece of bubble wrap, uh, particularly if you've got two grandparents. Um, or young children, of course, maiden arts, but do be very careful. You should not give plastic bags to uh, young children or maiden aunts or, or uh, uh, elderly uncles or even young uncles. Um, so here we have a, a lock and it's a, yeah, well, it's a lock, lock for your bicycle. And I will have to remove those, the cable tie there that's holding the keys to the lock and I haven't got any scissors with me at the moment but there is the key lock there so I would just use the keys undo the lock and I could secure the bicycle now this isn't this isn't particularly large is it um not does it expand I wouldn't have thought it expands no um just don't go away for a minute 
uh, here I'm back again. I thought it important to uh, snip off the cable tie so I could use the key so I could show you the size of the cable lock. So that is the, the size of the cable lock and it goes in there like uh, so. Hang on a minute. Just turn that around, put that in and lock it. There we are. Um, lock it. So not a great size there. If I put that on my, I'll put that on my arm. There, I imagine. Look, look at those biceps. Oh, oh you're impressed, aren't you? Um, so, well, that shows you the, shows you the size of it. Not a massive, massive lock, um, but a reasonably sized lock. You could uh, attach. What could you attach? Build frame to a, a fair, not particularly wide pole. So. Um, a reasonably useful lock anyway and the price is five pounds and 10p so uh, pretty good value for a pretty decent although not overly large lock and that is the items from wedaydeals.com and i've said previously in the other two videos that i did about their uh, their stuff that there are lots of cyclists and you know I'm, I'm one of those cyclists there are lots of cyclists who are looking for uh good value budget uh, cheap if you want to say that that word uh products that do what they say on the tin they don't have necessarily flashy bells and whistles they, they don't have particularly uh um, known brand names they're not Assos or, or Rafa or Castelli or, or Topic or, or whatever it is. And they are products, and, and let's face it, although these products come from China, and there's no reason why you should worry about stuff that comes from China, because a lot of the stuff that you buy is made in China anyway, even though it's sold by a, a company from Britain or the US or, or Europe or whatever it is. So the fact that you are buying this stuff from China, you should not be put off by that. The prices that I've given you are not including shipping or any cost like that. So what I would suggest you do if you're interested in buying any of these products is buying one product and then paying the shipping would work out quite expensive. But if you bought a selection of products and these particular five products came in this plastic bag like this. So it's not a big package. It's not a it's not a heavy package. So I don't know what the cost of shipping to the United Kingdom or the US would be from China, but I wouldn't have thought it's that much. But you could look it up for yourself if you go to wedaydeals.com. So decent products, uh, reasonable prices, seem to do what they say on the tin. There is a big selection of stuff on the wedaydeals.com uh, website, uh, wedaydeals.com website. If you want to have a look, go and have a look. They sent me these products for free, but they have not paid me to say what I've said. I did not know what I was going to say. I'm not even sure I know now what I've said. Well, yeah, I can watch the video back, I suppose, and, and find out what I've said. So uh, I was not paid to say these things. These are my honest unbiased opinions of products that were sent to me for free. So hope you enjoyed that video. If you're in the market for stuff, check it out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.